welcome and it's a monkey mar before we get into today's video please make sure you click that subscribe button the bell for notifications and of course the like and with not further ado let's get into today's video and I was not going to do this video but I just can't get over Letitia Stelk so with that Let's see what the nut job is up to. And let's go see who her little cellmate is too. I feel like being nosy. All right, I'm sure all of you have seen the affidavit, but I'm not going to read it because I'm sure all of you have, but I will attach the link to my C drive in case you guys want to have it. But I am gonna touch on a few things. I wanna touch on where she is being housed at the El Paso County sheriff's office and let's go have a look at these little windows that she was going to escape and i also want to see who miss borchard is and i guess i just do not believe that this woman was even thinking she was going to get out of one of these windows so let's see where she was the day that she was going to escape so right here we've got during the interview miss borchard stated miss evil said she was planning on breaking out her cell window and measured herself i mean <laughs> uh, anyways she talks about being in where is she in the alpha 2 ward so that's where they're hooked housed let's go see if we can actually get inside an alpha 2 ward and see what it looks like okay so by now all of you that have been to my channel know that I'm nosy and I want to know who Teresa is so I started to Google and look into the El Paso County Jail system to see what I could see and on March 30th 2020 from the Gazette it's called mugshot Monday most wanted in the Colorado Springs area so I kind of just scrolled down through the names and what did I find Teresa Marie Borchard age 41 5 feet 6 158 pounds brown hair and blue eyes she is sought on suspicion of kidnapping and motor vehicle theft when I go back into my little nosy websites I cannot find anything on her or a picture as of yet because I'm just I always need a visualization so I did find though her booking in the El Paso County Sheriff's Department and here she is Teresa Marie Borchard, 1979. She has a court date on June 15th. She's being held on a $5,000 bond. And it looks like this is the same court date. And then she's got the numbers and failure to comply, failure to comply, and an arrest warrant. So it doesn't look like she's busy in the prison system, but that's what she's about. After a little more investigation, because I just had to know what Teresa Marie Borchard looked like, well, here she is above. The one that couldn't wait to tell on Letitia Evil. Let's go take a road trip. All right. Here is an overview of where Miss Letitia Evil now resides for the time being. You know, she might have got some waterfront view. I don't know, but I don't even know where she is. I cannot find a diagram or a blueprint yet of this jail, but I'm going to look. But I have a few pictures that I am going to add into this video that actually show the B ward which I'm thinking is probably just like the A ward on the B side. I don't know if that's A, that's B, this could be an A, this could be a B, this could be a big ward with A, B, C, D, I don't know. 
but let's go down and have a look at these windows because I really just um, <laughs> she measured herself and she was going to bang out the window with the broom handle and in the other pictures I'm going to put in after this will actually show you the size of the window and she probably could squeeze through it as long as her big head would fit but it looks like that's where they bring in the prisoners like a drive through I don't know but this is where she's at at the coroner's office the sheriff's impound got the little prison back here with the little windows I think if it has little windows oh look at there's a police officer I think if it has little windows then it's probably a little cell but those blue pods let's take a ride and see if we can see the blue pods and then what is she going to do when she gets out the window well, I don't know what this woman is thinking but to me she is coming off very I don't know I mean she is definitely one of a kind all right yeah these blue pods right here looks like area 51 huh well I don't know if she could possibly pull off getting out one of those little windows let's go back to an aerial view real quick because there's men here too so I don't know how it's set up if somebody works at the El Paso jail right here can you please tell me which one is the A-wing thank you alright so they also said her g was going to put $75,000 into a secured bank account but who is that Milton Ray Locklear or are we talking about James Lowry's father or your father Tommy Ray Harden's father like you are she is such a liar that is where she reminds me a lot of Casey Anthony that is the B word I'm not sure if the A word is exactly like that or which B word but this is basically the setup. These are pictures from the facility where Letitia Evil resides. I just do not know in which pod they have her. But that's it and that's the window. So you see the little window up there? I don't know if you could first of all bust it out and second of all get your head out of there. I, I don't know. She's desperate. She's probably I'm not even sure she's going to pass the mental evaluation to stand trial to be honest because this chick is definitely a complete a nutter butter all right guys and with that it is a wrap I want to thank you all for coming in thank you for watching please like or dislike whichever you prefer and subscribe I want to wish everyone a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world. Stay safe and stay vigilant. I'm going to end it with a few pics of the facility. And make sure you check out the buffet that they have going on for their inmates. Alright guys, I'm out.